What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Bible Play with CJ. We're going to focus in on the Colorado Avalanche. Send your first round pick, Miko Rantanen, to San the San Antonio Rampage of the AHL and, you know, what it means uh, going forward. Obviously, Rantanen was the 10th pick in the draft this past June. And, uh, you know, it was, it was kind of a weird pick. Um, just, you know, I think the whole situation, having him up at 18 with the team, I thought was, you know, unusual. Personally, I would have kept him in Finland for another year. But that's just me. And then, uh, you know, struggled through six games with the Avs. I thought he looked not bad against the Bruins, whatever that's worth. I know he had the he had a breakaway. And I'm looking at his numbers against the Bruins. He was minus three that game. So, I guess that, that was a week ago, nine days ago. So, you know, I the eye test wasn't great, I guess. And I'm getting older and, and seeing I also don't remember things as well. Um, but, again, one of those things, it's good for his development. I just pulled up what I wrote on uh, Power Play Insiders at the beginning of the season with uh, 2015 draftees and, you know, on open night rosters. And I said point blank, I expect to see him in the minors at some point. And my exact quote was, big bodied Finn is in a weird, the big, the big body Finn is a weird fit on a team that's in a weird situation. So, you know, the Avs aren't totally in rebuild mode, but I mean, it's like, I mean, they're, they got young, exciting players, but it's like at the same time, you know, this this team's it's tough to compete for a playoff spot in the Western Conference when a team's constructed like this. You know, they, I'm not gonna say they got lucky, but they caught a lot of good breaks in 20, 30, 2013, 2014. Last year, obviously, it all came crashing in on them. So, you know, we'll see how it all how it all shakes up. But it's definitely, um, you know, I'd keep him down there for a couple months, let him play in the WJC for Finland, and then uh, you know, go from there. I mean, uh, you can. If you stash him down there the rest of the year, you actually don't burn a year on his entry level deal because he only played six games and you can get him up for three more. Um, but my thing is, you know, let him reestablish his confidence and you know, let him get acclimated to North American Heights too. I mean, it's, a, it's a big adjustment. You know, let the kid do his thing down there. And I think, um, you know, long term, they'll reap the benefits of, you know, him getting that minor league seasoning. You know, there's nothing wrong with that, you know, with going down to the AHL and, and, and playing some games and, you know, getting some top, top six minutes, getting some power play time, you know, maybe kills penalties. You know, it's a lot like um, Major League Baseball. You know, a lot of teams, you know, rush pitchers to the major leagues, but, you know, I think the smarter thing to do is let them simmer in the minors. So there isn't a situation, by the time they get to the big leagues, there isn't a situation they haven't seen yet. And I think that's something with Ranton and, you know, um, letting them get acclimated to North American, the North American style, the North American game. You know all that, and I think that'll definitely long-term help his uh, help his development. And the other thing is that I think you Colorado lucks out here, and that he's a European, meaning he can play in the AHL. We're supposed to be with a major junior player. They have to send him back, and they wouldn't be able to touch him for the rest of the year. And uh, quite frankly, I think a, a bigger player like Ranton, I think, would be better is better suited playing in the AHL than going back and playing against kids. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, that's all. It's sort of the power play with CJ. Stay tuned for episodes throughout the season and beyond. Later, guys.